Wake the fuck up! Nobody told you to sleep, boy. You're gonna fucking tell me. How did you break the network? If you don't tell me, you know what's gonna fucking happen, you motherfucker? Huh? You know what's gonna fucking happen? You're gonna be wind up branded a terrorist. You're gonna wind up down in federal prison. And Mumadal Jabbar Kabasi is gonna stick his big fucking donkey goat head penis up your pink white commie asshole. See, you don't know, man. Fucking sister to desire's invention. Tell me about it. It just started one morning on my way to work. Fucking rats. Always on their fucking phone, checking their emails, obsessed with their emails. Fucking hate them. I'd answer 70 of those motherfuckers. Just so that I could have 70 more waiting for me once I got back from the weekend. So I took down the fucking network. Yeah, I fucking took it down. It's my gift to the world. Merry fucking Christmas. Listen, man. Executing the plan was tricky. Although it wasn't anything I really couldn't handle. First step was getting the capital. The money would then be used to produce a bulk order of custom Eufy and BIOS chips that would then be installed and distributed in all matter of motherboards and internet enabled devices. See, consumers don't know exactly what's booting their computers and devices in the first place. So I made sure these chips contain exploit codes that when activated, would form a botnet of zombie machines that would DDoS, email bomb, and SYN flood all SMTP servers. Excess chips were then sold on the dark net for Bitcoin, which was used to pay anonymous hackers who were helping with the DDoS attack. Once the plan was mapped out, it was just a matter of producing more and more chips. And the rest was just getting to work. had gone by since the hacking and I couldn't wait to see the fruit of my loins. But what I found out instead was just how fucking naive I was. By that time, most system administrators started rolling out patches for the exploits. And although we did disrupt a large percentage of email traffic that caused financial losses to corporations, it wasn't enough to stop those fucking emails. Soon enough, you pigs caught up with me. All in all, it really doesn't matter though. There's no quick fix to a toxic and soulless work environment where the bottom line is more competition, more profit. It's a problem deeply rooted in the culture of companies and society. That's the country we live in. God bless America.